Hello everyone, my name is Paige with Sudsy Soapworks. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lime margarita bath bombs. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Um, I will include the recipe in the description box as well as in this video. First we're going to start off with 1000 grams of baking soda. I got this baking soda at Sam's Club for around $7 for a 15 pound bag. It's the cheapest I've found so far. I use a sifter or um, a strainer to get all the clumps out of the baking soda. Usually the clumps won't accept the color well and it'll just leave white spots all over your bath bombs. Next I'm grabbing this green dye that I got from Nurture Soap. I just recently switched to dyes. Um, I used to use micas, but with micas you need to use a lot of mica to color your bath bomb mixture. With this you only need this tiny amount to color the entire mixture. And I'm just mixing this with one tablespoon of distilled water. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of rubbing alcohol to this mixture. And I'm going to stir this up and then add it to the baking soda. I'm just scraping this container to make sure I get most of the dye out. I'm going to use this container later to add the rest of my liquid ingredients. And now I'm just mixing these ingredients together and dispersing the water and alcohol and color throughout the baking soda. Now that this is well mixed, I'm going to tear my scale and I'm grabbing 40 grams of SLSA. I'm doing this first um, because when you mix this in, it becomes airborne. So you have to be really careful. I recommend wearing a mask or as it can irritate your lungs. And then I'm adding 75 grams of cornstarch. I'm going to sift this and mix it into the baking soda mixture. Right now I'm adding two teaspoons of white kaolin clay. This kind of helps harden your bath bomb. Now I'm going to make sure that this is well incorporated. Now it's time to measure all of our the rest of our liquid ingredients. So first I'm going to add 10 grams of rubbing alcohol. And 10 grams of avocado oil. This is polysorbate 80, I'm adding seven grams of this. This helps disperse the colorant and the fragrance and oils into the water. And now I'm just adding 14 grams of fragrance oil. And I'm stirring all this together. I'm getting the rest of that green dye mixed in. And I'm gonna add this to our dry ingredients. Always make sure that you scrape the container to get all the remaining ingredients out. I'm 
after mixing this in, I'm going to finally add the citric acid. I do this last because if you add any liquids to the citric acid, it starts to fizz up and it can inactivate part of your bath bomb mixture. I found that my mixture is always perfect once I add the citric acid last. I'm going to sift this and get rid of the clumps. And now I'm going to mix it all together. You know your bath bomb mixture is done when it kind of sticks together like wet sand. You don't want it to be too wet and you don't want it to be too dry. So you want to grab a handful and squeeze it in your hand. And if it holds its shape, then it's ready. But if it still crumbles when you drop it back into the bowl. I got this bath bomb mold from the maker shop. It comes with, it's a three piece set. It comes with this ring. I prefer not to use the ring because it leaves a ring around the finished bath bomb and I just have a difficulty packaging that. Um, I did not have an indented bath bomb mold so I had this idea to use a small aluminum bath bomb mold and stuck that in the plastic one to get that indent on the top. And then you just press it together. And then I bought these plastic bath bomb molds from Nature's Garden. They work really well to keep the shape of the bath bomb and as a holder. This was actually the first time I've tried using this method to get the indented bath bomb and it worked. You want to make sure you don't pack your bath bombs too tight. If you do, it kind of it removes the air pockets throughout the bath bomb and it can affect the end result whether it floats or sinks. I'll leave a link down below where I got this manual bath bomb press. Mine is a 2.5 inch press. This recipe makes 15 indented bath bombs and it makes 11 to 12 round bath bombs. just finishing up this last press and then I'm gonna get to making the frosting. Next I'm gonna make the bath bomb frosting. So I have 16 ounces of baking soda mixed with 15 grams of cream of tartar. And then I added my colorants. Next I'm adding coca promidal betaine. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll leave it down below. So I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Um, I don't have a measurement for this just because it kind of varies with consistency. But you'll see me add a little bit and mix in and then keep adding and mixing in. I'm also going to add the fragrance oil into this so it has a little bit of a scent.
this is the consistency that I want. Kind of like a thick buttercream, just so it's pipeable. Now I'm gonna put it into the piping bag. When you pipe on your bath bombs, you wanna make sure that they're dry and that they don't have any like loose powders or bath bomb bits. Otherwise it will be hard for the icing to adhere to the bath bomb and it might just fall out. So I'm just, I just pipe a little bit in the middle and then I go around kind of like you would a cupcake. And then I cut these paper straws into fifths. Um, they're about one inch long. Right now I'm just adding like a medium grain European sea salt to the top. I had a little trouble sticking but I was able to get some grains to stick. And here is the finished product. Again, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button down below. Thanks again for watching.